At Providence, we feel very strongly about supporting Hope Resource Center, and we have since literally the beginning of our church. Um, when Hope Resource Center started, Providence was starting also brand new, and we decided that um, this political issue at the time, it was a very politically hot topic issue, was something that we wanted to make a statement on because it's also a very biblical issue. And uh, we sensed that God wanted us to make a statement and uh, have a stand and be clear about it. But we didn't want to be um, offensive. What we wanted to be was redemptive. Hope Resource Center has that vision and has that mission and always has, even from the very beginning. And um, that to me, we can talk about abortion. We can talk about how the, 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 the culture is um, disintegrating, some people might say, and, and drifting, others might say. But the most important thing for us is to not um, get caught up into the political um, 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 hyperbole, but for us the most important thing was to do something Christ-like, to offer redemption to people God loves, and at the same time make a stand um, in, a, in a redemptive way for truth and for the scripture. The sanctity of life is an essential aspect of the DNA of Providence Church. And it's interesting in changing times, the changing times in which we live, that there are the arguments all around us and the persuasion of the media and the, the voices in politics and all of these things are persuasive. And they are, they're moving culture. And so for us, Hope Resource Center has had an incredible role in, in our involvement at Hope Resource Center in helping us help our people think critically and to think um, um, biblically about redemption and about biblical, about um, principles that the Bible teaches. You know, one of the things that really sticks out to me as how has Hope Resource Center actually helped Providence Church accomplish our mission in a very practical way with real people's lives is um, we had a young woman who became a Christian in our church. She's a brand new believer and we had an emphasis on Hope Resource Center a few years ago and she volunteered at Hope Resource Center. She's a young woman, she was a new mom herself and you know, a millennial and uh, when she went and, and spent a day volunteering at Hope Resource Center, it changed her perspective about everything. It changed the preconception that she had about children, the value of life, it changed the preconception that she had about Christians, uh, abortion, the whole issue and, uh, and man she came back with tears in her eyes and telling me how, uh, how much God had impacted her life and how, she, how much she wanted to dedicate herself to, 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 to this, this pursuit of helping save lives and that were tragically being lost. And her, I just remember her refrain, what she said over and over to me is, people need to know about this. People don't know about this. And she was saying that with, with tears in her eyes, you know, and it was just a, it was a powerful testimony to me about how, um, those who volunteer, when we're encouraging them to, can be changed by what they see in partnership with Hope Resource Center. Our involvement with Hope Resource Center has taken on many different forms. Uh, one of the forms has been, of course, financial. We made a financial commitment early on when our church was a brand new church plant, when we had just a, <laughs> a very small budget and uh, struggling along with 50 people, max, that's children and everything, we, it was at that time that we said, we're gonna, we're gonna give and we're gonna try to give significantly for us to Hope Resource Center. Um, it, it has increased, of course, as our church has grown and uh, we, we give to the tune of multiple thousand dollars a year uh, to Hope Resource Center because it's a priority for us. This is a ministry for us that is uh, very, very important. I wanna encourage my friends who are pastors or in ministry to um, recognize what our church recognized back in the 90s when abortion was a hot issue. Um, when the, if I remember right, the abortion rate was 1.6 million a year. Um, it was a big issue. We were, we, were, we were losing ground in this cultural battle that Christians care about. Um, the truth is, <laughs> there's still about a million people a year dying um, from abortion. There's a lot of women's lives that are being destroyed, and, and men too. Hope Resource Center needs us. Hope Resource Center needs the church to, to, to do what we say.
to, to act on what we say we care about and how and to practice what we preach. And I think uh, Hope, Resource, Hope Resource Center is, is the best way for us to engage in this uh, very, very important and critical issue for our day.